What's up guys? My name's David and I have a problem. I'm going to admit it right now. I have a problem, but I think I've just found the solution to the problem. Hopefully it will benefit you guys too. So, alright, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys what my problem is right now. This is my first video, by the way, so in my new solution state, I guess. So don't, don't hate on me. Yeah, don't hate on me. Um, Alright, so my problem is I have a hard time expressing myself. Not expressing myself, but expressing my true self and being myself around other people. Um, and I think that I think that expressing yourself is a lot more than just doing in what you think in your head is what you want to do, I guess. That's, it's really it's a hard term to explain. That's why it's a shitty advice to tell someone to be themselves or express themselves because if they're not doing it they don't know how to do it all right so I'm gonna I think I just had an epiphany on how to express yourself uh, I I am a I'm 18 years old I just finished my first year of freshman year at college in Virginia just got back summer break started about five days ago and it's been rough the first, first year of college has been rough, and that was because I had a hard time expressing myself. I don't want to say that I didn't have friends that I liked, but I didn't have friends who understood me or were going through the same thing as I, did, I was. And I, I now realize that they weren't my good match friends or understanding friends because I wasn't properly expressing myself. I wasn't giving them the information that they needed to either become a really good friend or not become a good friend. That's the thing. When you do express yourself, you can eat, there's two different ways that it can go. It can go with this person now has information about how you feel and how the kind of person you are and they can run off with it and not be your friend and maybe they could use it against you but if you look at it in life just like things are whatever it happens whatever it just whatever that was awful awful wording on my part I'm sorry <laughs> but and then so it can go that way or it can go the other way where these people will they'll understand what you're going through and they will be there for you and they will kind of, they'll give you feedback on if what you're doing is appropriate and how it can relate to them so you guys can learn back and forth you guys can learn back and forth from each other and that's what a friend is it's someone who helps you grow helps you evolve as a person so my problem was I was being I guess apathetic and that's when basically you you have a hard time showing expressions or f the way you feel um, so I guess the reason I the reason I was apathetic I'm guessing I don't really know for sure why or how it started but it I feel like apatheticism if that's even a fucking word apathy apathy is <laughs> I feel like apathy is a is a self-defense mechanism from not giving people enough information about yourself so they can't run off and hurt you with it, you know? It's a trust issue with yourself, kind of, and with the world. Something somewhere, something somewhere along the lines happened and you stopped trusting people. You stopped trusting the people around you and the world around you and that caused you to not give facial expressions to their full potential and express yourself to the full potential because you don't want you don't want somebody to hurt you with it. Now, this is so stupid. The solution is so stupidly simple that I don't know what was going on in my head, but like all you have to do is over just dramatize whatever you're feeling and translate it into a facial expression and body movement. It's all about moving your body because when you're talking to somebody they don't want to just hear words coming out of your mouth. They're looking at you because they want to understand. Like, if if conversations were just through talk, through, just through words, and were just used by the ears, we would close our eyes for it. There'd be no need for eyes. 
but it's not. There's a lot more to having to having a conversation than just than just spewing out words like this and being like, yeah, well, it means and having small body body movements. There's a lot more because like they like the phrase action speaks actions speak louder than words and they say body language is more trustworthy than the words that are coming out of the mouth. You know, you can read someone's body language better if you can read someone's body language you don't even necessarily need to know what they're saying to know how they're feeling. So body language is a very important first step in overcoming and becoming an expressive person. You have to be able to express the, your movement, express the way you're feeling through the movements of your body, especially in the face. That's where people look at you when they first see you. That's where impressions are made. Uh, I don't know why I'm wearing no shirt. Just disregarded that. I just got in the shower and I was like, I need to make a fucking video about this. I need to tell everyone else who's going through the same thing as me. That's the amazing thing about the internet is if the internet wasn't around, a lot of the solution that I've, a lot of the the, solu the, the research that I've come about to, to find out the solution to this problem with myself has been through the internet and actually marijuana. I can do another video about that later, but marijuana really was the Kickstarter and, you know, becoming aware of this problem that I was having. <clears throat> but I'll, that'll be another video. I'll save that for another time. Um, so... Shit, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, okay, body language, expressing yourself, you have to express yourself, you have to do movements. Now, the thing about, the thing with this apathy that I was feeling and this, whatever I was feeling, a lot of it was just a lot of self-consciousness, um being aware of my movements at all times and I guess that comes back to perfectionism and trying to be perfect and not make mistakes whether it be my body movements or whatever else it may be but but yeah so I guess Okay, so, fuck.